It's Friday night and you decide to take your car out for a little bit of a drive. You're like, let's go to the local Bosville and see what's out. Start your car, throw through some gears on your way over there, back into your spot, and you're all ready to impress the world around you. Well, you lift up your hood and what do you've got but a little dinky air cleaner because you had clearance issues with your EFI unit. Well, that's a simple fix away. With a banjo fitting and a banjo screw, you've got everything you need to fit that nice drop base air cleaner on your car. There's nothing worse than opening up the hood and people going, well, that doesn't look quite right. Well, what they should be saying is, damn, that looks fine. Woo! What engine you got underneath there? First things first is you're gonna wanna remove your old fuel line. Mine was too short, so I'm gonna have to cut another one. All you had to do was take a three quarters inch wrench, or if you actually had an AN wrench, you take that, unscrew it, and then work on there. So all you're gonna do is hook up this side to your fuel filter, screws in all nice and easy. I kept the fuel filter loose just so I can pull it to make sure that everything's fitting properly. Okay, that's all nice and snug. So I've got the old, <clears throat> so I've got the old fuel line out. As you can see, it's way too short. So I cut myself another one, and now we're just going to switch the mountings and then hook it back up to the fuel filter and route it to the EFI unit. So it's all pretty simple. You just need the right tools. So supplied with the kit for Fitech is one of the bar style AN fittings. So I've already put a little bit of lube on there so it'll slide in. But right now it's just the fun part of forcing it into the hose, which if you've done this, you know that this is massively big pain in the ass. So almost there. <clears throat> You're gonna have to use a lot of force because these things don't want to. Oh. There we go. As you can see, it's seated inside the cup. So what I like to do is take one of your hose clamps and you're gonna put it up where the barbs are. And then you're gonna tighten it here just to make sure that nothing comes off. And then you're all set to go. So. We're nice and tight. So now it's time to install this. So I had already put the banjo fitting on. Uh, there's a washer on both sides. So you just slide the washer onto the screw, then slide the banjo fitting. And then I just use the washer that already come with the Fitech. If they already had it on there, then it's good enough to use. And then you're just gonna hook up this line to the bottom of there. And I've got nowhere to put my phone, so I'm gonna just Okay, so everything is on, everything is snug. You can see how it drops it down. So the next thing would be to put this on there and make sure that it fits. I already know it does because I've already had it on there. Come on, there we go. Perfect. So now all you gotta do is button this down. And there you go. Now you've got the right sized air cleaner for an engine like this. Before we were using, I don't know if I even have it down here. There we go. This was the only one that would clear the fight deck unit and our hood that we had. And this was just inadequate. So now you can see that there's room. It is no longer hitting. Everything is nice and tight. And that's how you put a uh, drop filter on a, uh, or a drop air cleaner on the top of uh, a Fitech unit. Again, I'll post the description number, the Earl fittings in the description. Thank you. If you enjoyed this and this helped, subscribe and like. Would love to hear what you're doing. Have a good day.